Hey y'all, I haven't gone anywhere. Hi, my name is Jana Kay and welcome to my channel Flourish Faith and Fiber and this is Bougie Crochet Wearables episode number 10. And I say that because I was looking back and I don't know what happened to episode number seven. Uh, either I just can't count or filmed it and forgot to upload it or something because I usually, I do my editing in iMovie and I usually go back and check all the episodes, so maybe it's there in iMovie and I just didn't put it out or corrected it, didn't like it, and then never changed the number. But anyway, I think technically that means this is the ninth video that I've made for um, this series, but uh, we're gonna call it episode number 10. And I am so glad to have you all with me. I am so excited. I have gotten to a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate you all. I appreciate that you want to watch the videos that I am putting out, that you especially like this series. It is near and dear to my heart because as first a crocheter, um, I want to highlight how wonderful crochet wearables are. That there are some really good written patterns out there and that choosing the right yarn, yarn weight, hook size, all of that can make wearables that you can actually wear. You can wear on a daily, uh, weekly basis and enjoy them and enjoy your craft. Um, in, in in a great way. I don't know another good word for it. I remember teaching my son about uh, band words, and I think great or good is one of those, but um, it just does suit that we can wear crochet wearables, that they are great options um, for our weekly uh, monthly, whatever it is, wardrobe, seasonally um, as well. So let's move on then uh, to what I have on. And it is my uh, Summer Breeze Raglan Top by Becky Mately. And it's not finished but the body is finished. And so I wanna stand up and show you how far uh, that I have gotten, that I'm done with the body and what it looks like. So uh, I'm gonna stand up and let you see the top in its entirety. So uh, the body, I should say. So this is the body of the top. So we started out doing, um, kind of in rows, uh, but creating it so that it would eventually join to form that V-neck. Uh, and raglan means it's top down. So once we join the V-necks, then the neck, then we went in a round until we were able to join in for the sleeves. There's the sleeve. You can see where I chained, so it gives it more of a squared off uh, under the arm, and uh, then at the bottom, I chose to do it up to the waistline. Uh, most of the jeans I wear, because I am very long-waisted, uh, are high-waisted jeans, and so I did it up to the top, to the belt loops of my jeans, or the top of the waist of, of other pants or skirts that I would wear, and it's got a pretty little design to match the shoulder design. So that is the body and I have to do the sleeves. So I will attach and do the three quarter length sleeves that the pattern calls for. So even though I am 
long-waisted, I am very short armed because that's where I am short is in my legs and my arms are the same way. So uh, I may not do as many rows as suggested in the pattern, but I'll keep trying it on to see where it fits. So hopefully in the next video, we will have a finished top. I also have to do a border uh, finishing round uh, for the neck and then the sleeves. And then it will be done and I will be able, hopefully, uh, it's still pretty warm here in Tennessee uh, today. Uh, we are supposed to get up to 91. And so this is a cotton bamboo blend. So I will be able to maybe get a couple of wares out of it before uh, fall weather really hits. And uh, just as a reminder, I am using this yarn I ordered from Knit Picks called Shine. It is sport weight and it is 60% Pima cotton and 40% modal, which is made with beech wood fiber. And I have got three balls left and about two thirds of another one. Uh, so quite a bit left that I should have uh, even left over after finishing the sleeves. I should, I'm guessing, have at least two uh, balls left that I can do another project with. Maybe a hat, scarf. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do with two balls of yarn that I will have left. And so, yeah, so I'm very happy with it. I love the way it feels. It's not as tight, I don't think, as the pattern intended. It's not supposed to have that much ease, but I probably have at least three inches of ease around. But um, I I'm okay with that as a t-shirt where uh, I don't... I do have shirts that are tighter fitting, um, but I also like the loose t-shirt style fit as well. So, oh, I didn't tell you, this yarn is in the colorway Wisteria, and I am using a four. I'll double check that and put it on the screen, but I'm either using a four or 4.5 millimeter hook uh, for this pattern. And just an update on uh, what I've been thinking about for my next crochet wearable. There is a um, crochet designer that she is, I think she's actually living in California, but she is from the Ukraine. And she has a huge following on YouTube. You may have heard of her. Her name is Olga Poltava. I think I said that right. I'll put her name uh, here on the screen. And But she has a huge following. She has been designing for many years. And she has a winter, a long sleeve sweater pattern that I am excited about doing. So uh, when I have this top finished, I will give you more information uh, on the pattern that I am looking at and deciding on, contemplating over, but pretty much certain that I will choose that as my next project. I will list it in the description box below so you can check out her channel and uh, the pattern. And so, yeah, so that will be the next crochet wearable. I am pretty certain, but will confirm it in the next video when I show you the finished Summer Breeze Raglan top. And uh, so thank you for joining me on this update. And uh, as you can see, I am in my uh, future craft room, office, and uh, still have lots of boxes 
to unpack and get sorted, but we are moving along nicely in our new home. So thank you again for joining me and we will see you in the next update of Bougie Crochet Wearables. And I will be putting out just a regular uh, Flourish Creatively podcast uh, next week. So be looking out for that as well as the Monday Devotion short that I put out each week. Uh, I am back and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye, y'all.